Hello. Hello, I just took a mouthful of cashew nuts. Say that word again? Cashew, cashew. <laughs> Gesundheit. I just took... Hello, cat. Hello. <laughs> now, Sorry. I have a question for you. Yeah? Has this been a trial? I'm a bit punchy. I think we're both a bit punchy because we've spent the past hour, I would say, easily the past hour. Mm -hmm. Would you say that is correct? Mm -hmm. um, trying to get OBS to record a game whose resolution is 800 by 600 and will not go into windowed mode despite our best efforts, including going into the file properties. So this is episode one for you viewers, but for us, it's like episode 30 or 40. We've yeah. been here for fucking ages. In that, I feel like I've aged 30 or 40 years trying to do this. But yeah. I, I think we've figured out an acceptable setup, which might, to you right now, <laughs> maybe look a little bit off. And if it does, I'm really sorry. Um, we're working on it. This is going to be um, kind of a a work in progress. You know, we're yeah. all works in progress, including Nancy. Yeah. Um, what fucking game is this? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we? You so so Jack, you picked this game. Yeah, I did. Because the um, last game, Ghost of Thornton Hall, was my pick. Yes. Um, purely by its description. This game is called uh, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and if I understand correctly, it's sort of um, a Nancy Drew loose riff, perhaps, on Murder on the Orient Express, in that yeah. like, a lot of Nancy Drew canon is uh, an homage to other famous mysteries. Also, maybe Disneyland's famous Big Thunder Mountain. You, you love that ride so much. I love Big Thunder Mountain so much. It's a good ride. Every time we do it, yeah. you're a bit scared. I am. And then by the time we finish the first ride, you're like, can we do that again? I go again, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because every, well, every time we go, I'm like, did it get bigger when I was away? Yeah. Will this be the time that it kills me? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm spooked by Rolly Coasties. Okay, so this game has the Hardy Boys in it, and we are on a train. I think for the whole thing. Maybe Exciting. not sure. Okay, are you ready to to do it? Yeah, should we actually play the video game? Yeah, I think we should actually play the video game, this which feels a like process. a trap. Because, <laughs> because we tried for a really long time to cut to a setup that worked for us, and uh, nothing did. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Welcome to my latest case, Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. To start, choose Junior or Senior Detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, click on Tutorial. We're we, a Junior Detective, right? We are right? a Junior Detective. It's, like a Junior Park Ranger? Yeah, which we are. Um, it's unsettling that it goes tutorial, then senior, then junior, but... Yeah, that doesn't feel Here good. Hannah. Here I am at the railroad station along with a handful of other detectives about to board a train bound for who knows where. The this only is a trap. The knows where we're going is Lord yeah. Gerard. That's the young woman who invited oh. everyone. Whoa. Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited me. Rude. And I've always wanted to join forces with the Hardy boys. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Oh. Some I bet it will be. Some people too rich and a little too famous for their own good. Too true. Wish me luck. Love, Nancy. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray. I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like the best cable show ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. 
Your characters just seem so real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West? You are just awesome! And Tino Balducci. Only the most famous police <laughs> detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. And you must be the other amateur detective, their friend? Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering where we're going. Well, we're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because, see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, was found in a place called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was on board, and he was dead. As for Jake Hurley, he had disappeared from the face of the earth. Oh, and two more things. Before he disappeared, Jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world. And the train he owned, this train, his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields. It was rumored to be haunted. <laughs> Gosh. What in the world? What? The hey, what? What's going on? Just immediately? People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. It's okay. Everybody just stay calm. No need to panic. I'll get to the bottom of this. Well, Nancy, you're up on all that social etiquette stuff. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? If I don't seem concerned, it's because I'm not. Oh my Lori god. Gerard is a young woman whose only goal in life is to be famous. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. Okay. Quick cue. <laughs> yes. Yeah? When did this game start? Because it just sort of felt like it's... Like... Yeah. This is our very first interaction with the game. <laughs> it is wasting no, <laughs> no time. time. If I think if we thought that Thornton Hall wasn't wasting any time, we were oh sorely mistaken. God. This is a huge power move. From by the game to by us. her interactive, yeah. Um, okay. So let's recap. Okay. We are on a train. Probably haunted. Probably haunted. It was owned by a man who got rich uh, out west in Colorado, gold hunting, gold digging, in a gold and mine. His wife died on the train. Yes, <laughs> so she probably haunts it, and so does he. Because when it arrived to the Blue Moon Canyon, he was missing. And, and the engineer was the only man there, and he was dead. He was dead. Um, we <laughs> we have. Uh, a, a police officer, a romance novelist, uh, a, a medium, a television medium, the Hardy Boys, and us. And the Hardy Boys seem to be uh, very good at doing one thing, which is making meaningful eye contact with each other. Mm, mm hmm Yeah. Um, every single thing that we've seen so far looks like it would feature in a commercial for different sorts of plastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, especially Laurie. Okay. Uh, what kind of Hang plastic? On. Yeah? I'm sorry, we're you want to move past that one? I, sorry, I just realized we're in a different room. Oh, we are. Unless this... Yeah, no, we are in a different room. I guess now we're in Lori's... Car? Or Charlene's... Charlene? No, yeah, oh. no, sorry. This isn't... This is not Lori. Lori Gerard is the one who went missing. Yeah. This is... Yeah, Charlene? It's such a power move to say, this train is haunted, and then the lights go out. Yeah. Like... Immediately. I like asterisk, asterisk, Lori screams, exclamation point, asterisk, <laughs> asterisk. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's do this. Um, all right. I also love the this older UI. Yeah, it's oh, and great. I also love how I can't move the mouse 
past this. Oh, it's trapped? You've trapped yourself? It's trapped in this me, box? yeah. Okay. How well do you know her? How well do you know her? I don't really know her. I just know of her. The only reason I accepted her invitation was because I've come across the name Jake Hurley several times in my research, and this seemed like a good opportunity to learn more about him. What was your name again? Nancy Drew. You and I have actually met. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? No. What else, what do, you else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst. Nancy. What? Come here. No. Uh, excuse me for Leave a Leave me alone. I'm in the... Okay. I'm talking to this novelist. I have a pencil. Well, hang on. Oh, it's a pencil. So that's ha my inventory. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. Oh, we can call Bess. Great. Okay, calling Bess now. I'm 100% sure. Hello? Hi, Bess. George, get over here. It's Nancy. It's about time you called. What's up? What's up? You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying. I think her voice act has changed. Mm. Just calm down. Oh, why do you not just ever since she got here only because you've been driving me crazy i'm supposed to be helping her paint her room but every other brush stroke she's like where do you think she is now how do you think the hardy boys are doing why do you think she hasn't called what do you think Lori gerard is wearing oh george that is so not true i couldn't care less what Lori gerard is wearing. yeah it's not cute oh, come on nancy you're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where so dish already would you Beth, calm down Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. Oh, girls. Sorry. You know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Beth. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll fail and you'll wind up having to paint this dump all by yourself. George, I kid you Why not. are we talking about paint? I don't know. We're giving them character. Color. What color is it? Dopey beige. Nice try, Bess. What's going on, man? If I told you that I needed a hint, what would you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> Our hostess has disappeared. What do you mean? I guess they're my hint system. I mean, the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark, and when the train came out of the tunnel, no Lori. She just disappeared. Publicity, then. My thoughts exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just happened to have a camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. Only it turns out he faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her ex-boyfriend faked it to get back at her. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the purpose of this train trip is to find out what happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died, and he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Whoa. Have any theories? Not yet, but the train is also rumored to be haunted by his dead wife. Hmm. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies then Lori vanishes a pattern maybe Beth do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy okay I just think that Lori's disappearance may have been a blessing well we didn't have a lot of time to get to know her maybe she's nice she was wearing a white beret has either of you been to Copper Gorge Colorado never heard of the place why well, that's where the train I'm on is headed Apparently, Jake Hurley buried his wife Camille there after she died on the train. She died on the train? Ew, creepy. Lori Gerard finds it a little unnerving, too. I don't blame her. 
Lots of people probably die on trains. I know, I, like, quite yeah. often. I think a lot of people die a lot of places. I think maybe George is just frightened of her own mortality. Okay, bye everybody. Talk to you soon. Let us know what happens. I can't tell if they're like less frustrating. Is this Jake and his wife? Yes. What? Oh God. From what I've read, Camille loved to sing and dance, even in death, apparently. Jake reportedly told people that after she died, he would sometimes see strange glowing lights outside the windows at night, bobbing gracefully alongside the train as if dancing with it. He said he found the sight very comforting. I suspect normal people would have found it terrifying. Uh, now you can't fool me, that's Abraham Lincoln. Um... So I can't tell if I find George and Bess less irritating than in the last game, or if I've just kind of endeared myself to them. I find them less irritating as Finish well. That. Yeah. Um... Finish that. I feel like Bess is way, way like jokier in Thornton Hall. Yeah, in a way that I find frustrating. But, um, you know. Uh, so what did she say about, uh... Camille loved to dance even in death. Uh, the guy would, uh, Hurley would sometimes see it like strange lights outside the window bobbing along in rhythm to the train. He said uh, that he found them comforting. Okay. Look at these nerds. Look at these nuts. Ugh. Can't believe we have to team up with the Hardy Boys. For sale. Baby shoes. Sadie Crawford. Never worn. <gasps> Listen. What? Oh, I thought I heard singing. This is another ghost who loves to sing. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't It's a beautiful it. owl. <laughs> we Americans sure do love our eagles. Okay, doofy. Hey, All right, you yes, bastards, what's up? I followed Tino Balducci, and I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I that man is a grown man and not a teen. Inside. That is not a teen <laughs> detective. <laughs> That is a you man. Adult. <laughs> oh, good lord. Did you talk to him? I was just about to go in, but I was just about to go in. George got my arm in a vice grip and is dragging me back here babbling about how But Balducci then old Joey is got me in a vice grip. I found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Oh god. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior. No, so that was your brother. Stay out of the way. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around here. Can't we at least tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. ATAC? American teens you know against the crime. American <laughs> teens against crime. <laughs> American teens against crime? What Daddy, you a member of is faking this whole You know I'm not allowed to say it's against the rules. You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've ever wanted. What about you, They get Nancy? screaming lessons. I agree with neither of you. I agree with Nancy. I don't even know what it is that I'm talking about because I was too busy being distracted by American <laughs> teens against crime. Is the Amer do you think why weren't they allowed to tell the cop? Is it because only teens can know about ATAC? We can't tell him that we work for American Teens Against Crime. He's yes, a, no, he's only a the teens must know. Oh my god. Well, he god. can't know. Like Peter Pan. Wow. Okay, I don't So Frank is on team she's making it up. Uh Joe is on team there might be something weird going on here. Okay, well obviously there's something weird going on. I kind of agree with you. You've got to be kidding. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of, of Joe. No, Frank. I, they're the same. Um, has anyone talked to the engineer? Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not or is he I dead? Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. Good idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. God, could you imagine how annoying it would be if you were on a train where someone disappeared 
and then three teens started asking everyone <laughs> questions. Hi, we're with ATAC. What does no, that mean? No, I can't tell I'm you. I'm not allowed to say. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Uh. Oh. Hello? Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh. Okay, yes. <laughs> Here's the baby. Hello, baby. Hey, friend. Hey there. What do you want? Hello. The engine. The He's the engine. I just thought you should know that Lori Gerard has disappeared. So? Did you know she was going to disappear? Hey, all I know is I take orders from Miss Gerard, okay? Right now, my orders are to get this train to Copperport nonstop. Until Miss Gerard tells me otherwise, that's what I'm going to do. But Lori may not even be on the train anymore. Look, Miss Gerard may not be a rocket scientist. Joe's on the phone. But she knows better than to jump off a moving train. <laughs> but Frank. Me, Frank. Sorry. Here. Whatever. <laughs> this engineer is just like, oh my god, this engineer is, there's been a murder on the train. Well, I don't care. I just have to get the train to run on time and to the destination. A duck. <gasps> a goose. Beautiful. She's perfect. It's the most um, engineer in a murder mystery ever. Look, kid. I don't know nothing but driving trains, see? <laughs> and all I know is I gotta drive this train all the way into the gorge. That's also my voice for Joe? Frank. Frank. Fuck. In my head, I was even like, I'm gonna get it right this time. Steam valve. Okay. Do not open unless all pipes are connected. Looks like we got a puzzle there. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, no. I killed us. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. Oh no. Uh, off, off. Oof. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> God, that was a close one. Yeah, geez, I oh, thought there would dang. be some training wheels this here. This door goes outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. Okay, so this is the coffee car. Yeah, this is where they prepare coffee, I guess. Yeah. Um. Maybe let's maybe talk to Charlene. Again. Yeah. Yes. We were interrupted by the Hardy Boys. I'm, this is a very leading question. What are you mm. working on? I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, so until I write those two most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end, everywhere my I go, dog. my laptop goes, and every chance I get, I write. Those, those aren't three letters. <laughs> yep. My dog. Okay. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West, and because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is, well, it's a gift. No. Oh. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Boulet, who died about a year after they were married. <gasps> Murder. Murder. When did he buy this train? Sometime the wedding in the present. 1870s, he decided no. to seek his fortune out west, so he had this train custom built so that he... I say! Some years later, his wife Make me a train! <laughs> ...traverse the mountains and plains in you. comfort. Where did he meet Camille? Where did Camille? he meet Camille? I don't know that. The circumstances surrounding her passing are Murder. a bit of a mystery. Murder! Too. Murder! All knows Murder! For sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He turned her he into gold nuggets and semi precious up, stones. Which, of course, led to speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein. That's his wife. He, um. To this day, it's he mined his wife. He his wife into, uh, stones. Quite unknown. Actually, I should get going. You can that turn nice. um, someone's ashes into into like one diamond, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the logistics of how many diamonds. Oh God, I hate that. Ah, I hate Whoa. this. Wow, it looks like a figure. Do you see its like arms and beefy legs? Oh That's my horrifying. Oh God, I it does. Ooh. Oh. like some kind of gemstone no nancy it's not pretty it's awful nancy i like i physically recoiled that's horrible oh, 
fuck. Okay. Ah, oh, beans. There we go. Oh. Oops. I hope that happens at the end. Left pickaxe and lamp with fuel for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Or is it lead is the key? God, I too have left my pickaxe like and lamp with car. fuel for self for safekeeping. For self keeping. Um This is another like spooky corridor. It is, isn't it? It's Where very I constrained. Feel like we could see a ghost. A tale of two dolls. Ill tempered Edna could not get her way. She couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. Aww. Okay. When I was Googling this game, there were yeah. lots of Googles about dolls. Ah, oh, fuck. So I believe dolls are going to be, like, important in this game. Quiet. Is there anything down the other side of this carriage? Uh, let's see. We've reached our, um, 25, allotted 25 minute episode time, but I'm content to make this episode a little bit longer if just to, oh, the emergency break. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh! Forgot that guy was there. His eye is the worst. I know. We're gonna have to pry it out. You know that, right? Yeah, let's go for another, like, ten minutes. Harper? I need four numbers to unlock this. Whoa. And there's, what, 10,000 possible combinations? <laughs> I guess it could take me a while. Okay. I want to explore the train. Like, I want to know. I yeah, want to yeah, get to yeah. see a lot of terrifying corridors here. Look at these two fancy, fancy. Uh oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, he's doing ghost hunting. Hey, come Do you on think over the... here. Hi, you're that ah. fancy person. How you doing? John Gray. Pleasure it's to meet pleasure you. To meet you. I've seen your TV show. Then I don't have to explain what I'm doing. Well, I don't want to mock him. I think both of these answers mock him. Yeah, you do. Right now I'm taking time-lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. <laughs> do you really think that a moving train could be haunted? Uh, does someone have to be stationary for it to be haunted? Yeah, on only stationary things can be haunted. Do you really think that a moving train can be haunted? Sure. A train is basically nothing but a living space on wheels. And just like a house or a hotel, its walls can capture and hold energy. However, this read this as horse. Whatever its source. <laughs> you see, just like a horse or a hotel, the walls of the horse can temporary capture. distortions and local uh. electromagnetic fields caused by the presence of residual psychic energy generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory, at least. Yeah, that's that's very, interesting. very interesting. It's all very scientific. But the fact is, Lori's missing, and I, for one, am doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. You don't think Tino Balducci will be able to track it down? Charlene Purcell thinks That's my Lori's just impression. playing some kind of joke on Fred? us. Fred? Frank. Purcell Frank. writes romance novels. And of Whoa! Fun. Hey! Hang on, John! Whoa, John! You're a ghost humper. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, what do you think what of Tino Balducci? Balducci? I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be After a good catching cop those anymore. bank robbers? Mm. Tough to perform under you that remember. Kind of pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course. 
like everyone else who reads the tabloids. If Except you know what I mean. This train is her friend. Oh, maybe she doesn't have any friends. Wouldn't be surprised. Maybe you can be too rich after all. Well, I'll catch you later. Come back anytime. Um, okay, folks, I think in our uh, next episode, we will uh, explore this car of mysteries. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. I, I yeah. hope, 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 hope that this episode looks okay and that the next episode oh, will God, look okay. Um, yeah, we'll try to have the next ep up soon.